Wake up, I'm ready to go, yeah Feeling so good in control, yeah Think of the places I could be So I give up and watch TV I think I'm going crazy Pacing around my room Tell me that it gets better Being alone, alone together The world is upside down And I'm turning inside out Tell me that it gets better Being alone, alone together So, uh, what happened? We ran out of gas. We ran out of gas. A bunch of fucking idiots. <laughs> Now we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. This is what the middle of fucking nowhere looks like. I'm stranded. This is probably the last piece of footage you're ever going to see of us ever. God, this isn't how I imagined I'd die, man. <laughs> so whack. Welcome back to the Life After Disney studio vlog. As much as I love hustling hard on my art business, it's important to me to take vacations from time to time. For Valentine's Day, we planned a quick getaway to Arizona so I could learn how to shoot a gun for the first time. Once we arrived, we had an amazing breakfast at Hash Kitchen. Then it was time to head over to the shooting range. When we went in to check in, we were surrounded by large display cases full of all types of guns. Our trainer had us pick out two handguns to use for the hour, and then it was time to step into the range. All right, first time shooting a gun. How do you, you feel? How you feel? A little nervous. Yeah. Not super nervous. <laughs> yeah, but but still excited. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Excited and ready. I don't know to feel the power of my fingers. <laughs> I liked how family friendly it was. If these old ladies can do it, so can I. Are you right-handed? I'm right-handed. Go ahead and when you grab it, I want you to choke up all the way, okay? That's its home. Until you're ready to shoot, it stays there, okay? okay. Now, do you see we have all that space available? Yeah. That's me for our support hand, okay? Rotate it over. Fingers come around. And I want you to just go ahead and look through this mm -hmm. and find a little red dot. Do you see it? You might have to angle it up and down yeah, a little bit. See you it. see that dot? Yeah. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to lightly pull it back until you meet a wall of resistance. Do you feel that wall of resistance? Yeah. That's called the wall, and we prepare our trigger. When you shoot, pull it back to that wall. And I want you to give me a nice, deliberate press through that wall all the way to back. That's how you're going to shoot, okay? Okay. I'll go ahead and take it from you. I'm not going to hand you a loaded weapon. Mm -hmm. I want you to load it yourself, okay? Okay. So the slide, this portion, metal portion, is going to be to the forward, forward uh, set, okay? Mm -hmm. All you're gonna do with a ball of our round facing forward, mm -hmm. smack it in there. Aggressive, okay? Mm -hmm. Everything we do is aggressive on the gun. All I want you to do, use your palm, pull the slide to the rear, let go. Okay. You would then be loaded and ready to fire, okay? Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and rack our slide, okay? So pull it to the rear and let go like a slingshot. We're good to go, okay? okay. You ready? Oh, we didn't get it. Go ahead, rack that for me again. Okay. Pull it all the way to the rear, nice and aggressive. Get angry at it. Mm. Let's try it again. I want aggressive, okay? Okay. Get angry at it. Right. You've got this. <laughs> oh, no, uh, it jammed on us. Okay. I'll go ahead and get it loaded for you, okay? Okay. Perfect. You got it. Index finger down below. Nice. Nice and slow. Boom. And that was my first gunshot. Vincent was up next. He didn't need that much help since he's fired guns before. Be able to look through that gap and see the front sight post. I see it. That's sight alignment. Place it on our target. That's sight picture. Now focus entirely on that front sight post. Rear sight should become blurry and our target. This should be full clear. Right? I That's see. what we're focusing on. If you're seeing doubles, you're focusing on the rear, okay? I see. Right okay. on that front sight post. And then go ahead and take your safety off. All you're going to do is flick it straight down with your thumb. Now, okay. once you place your finger on that trigger, and this trigger basically doesn't have that wall or anything. Okay. Literally just put it on and a nice slow press. Nice slow press. That's okay. all it takes. That's the thing though. See your thumb? Wasn't on the frame. Wasn't on the frame. Wasn't on the frame. That's oh. very important, okay? okay? If our thumb comes off that frame, the rest of our hand comes off. Okay. okay? Oh. Beautiful. Nice and slow. There you go, right in the front. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> How was that? Woo! Yeah, still exhilarating. <laughs> so, 1911s are easy because they have such a short, easy trigger press, so you're not putting a lot of motion into the gun. Oh, There's yeah, yeah. There's less for you to mess up. Sweet. Three shots. 
Thank you. Look how easy that was. Yeah, it was a breeze. It was great. Yep, so these just come from too fast on the trigger. Oh, it's so a slow. Yeah, slow, Keep it slow throttle control. That's all it is. Once we start speeding up, we add involuntary muscle movements. Makes sense. Okay. All right. So it's almost like you want to shoot and then readjust. Yep. And then shoot. Yep, okay. you want it to do whatever it's doing, right? All we're doing is holding the gun. We're not driving it anywhere. Okay. All right, as soon as it recoils, if you can, drive it back down. Okay, just let it naturally come back down. Sounds good. Okay. Time for round two. Shooting multiple rounds, right. trying out the other gun this time. There we go, looking good. Whenever you're ready, take that safety off. Slow, steady for compress. Beautiful, keep it going, you got this. Nice, two more. Safety on, three rounds. As fast as that finger moves, okay? okay. You got this. Take that safety off. Good to go, three rounds. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Nice. <laughs> then it was Vincent's turn shooting the gun I chose. How'd you like it compared to the 1911? Hard to handle, but I think more safe because there's just more fail safe sight. So like there's that, you have to like press it a little bit, a lot harder yeah. to shoot. So yeah. that's, that's cool that you actually picked up on that. The reason, only reason 1911s have so many safeties is because of how light that trigger is. Yeah, it makes sense. So, striker fires, they learn that trigger pull and heaviness is a safety in its own. Makes sense, the, yeah. the majority of negligent discharges don't come from our finger. Nowadays they do, about like 10 years ago when they started really making striker fires, mm -hmm. majority of NDs from when people were re-holstering their gun and most holsters were made of leather or some type of soft product. What's happened, it's malleable, right? So the leather would get bent in, they go to a holster and then a piece of leather right there catches, catches the trigger, right? Yeah. So that's why they started making them so heavy right? right so if you do that you're gonna feel it so when it comes to accuracy where your shot impacts the only things that affect that is sight alignment or where our dot is okay and trigger press grip has nothing to do with where the shot goes grip is for follow through uh, that's all yep. that's all she wrote grip uh, was way better that time thank man. you you're at the wall deliberate press through that wall Beautiful, just like that, okay? Once we got used to it, we went to town trying to shoot from multiple distances, aiming for different places on the body. You got these headshots, I believe it. There it is! Hey! Nice! Slow the trigger press, slow it down. Beautiful. Oh, nice. And that's when I somehow got four headshots in a row. Or anything, right? If someone is exactly 21 feet away from me and they decide to charge at me, to sprint, by the time I get my gun out and effectively engage him, it's too late. Oh. They will they will be on top of you. Huh. Right? It doesn't matter. My fastest draw to shot is 0.78 seconds. Huh. They'll still beat that. Wow. Especially if they have a knife or something. It's not, you know, movies are ridiculous. So they take one shot. And it could take eight. 15, 32 rounds to put it right? 21 feet is our like safe space. Like, hey, if you're getting closer than that, you know, no bueno. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Were you able to keep track of where your shots were impacting? A little bit, yeah, so, it's hard to see, but. One, then you came up a little bit, you had one shot go high, then uh. you brought it back down. Two, three, four, five, six. You had about seven shots impacting right there. That's great, Thank dude. you, man. You wanna shoot my gun? Hey, man, let's shoot your gun. <laughs> shoot my gun. Shoot his gun. Okay, so, so this is a CZ P10C. Mm -hmm. All right, it's basically a Glock, but better. Pretty big misconception about guns and that training equals shooting it. Mm -hmm. It's not the case. With the firearm, 80% of your training should be done at home with an unloaded weapon doing dry fire. That. Nice. Then 20% is to confirm your dry fire. Oh, so, I was doing everything right. Looking good. You take it to the right. Yep. Gotcha. So I personally spend about 20 minutes every day dry firing my weapon. I have my students do a minimum of five minutes a day or 15 minutes once a week. Okay. Yep, then go ahead and rack around in the chamber. And you're good to go, man. Whoa. And that's self she wrote. The recoil is pretty crazy on this. Yeah, how would you like it, it? It feels good. Yeah. Kick kicks a little bit more than it the does. other two. It does, it's much lighter. Yeah. Right? It's gonna be a lighter thing, which is 
why I went with it is I'm carrying it concealed all day for uh, like 10 hours. Makes sense. I want a little bit of light, so it, it does have a little bit of recoil to it. Yeah, yeah. It's also a compact, shorter barrel, about a half inch shorter than your average gun. As soon as you start bringing weight and size down, you're gonna get a little bit more increase in recoil. Um, okay, sounds good, dude. Thanks so much, man, yeah, man. for letting me fire your gun. <laughs> yeah, dude, absolutely. All right, what do you think of shooting for the first time? But the first time I heard a gunshot, fired by a little old lady. <laughs> yeah. Who was right beside you? Who was right beside me. I was like, oh. <laughs> it like shocked me. And then my heart rate went up and I was like, oh, it's happening. I'm gonna shoot a gun for the first time. <laughs> yeah. And then immediately after I smelled the gunpowder yeah. in the, and I was like, oh, now I know what a gunshot sounds like. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I've heard gunshots before. It's more like a pop, not like a firecracker. Yeah, right? yeah, it's sharper. And then the first time, I think I fired the, what was it, a Glock? The recoil was crazy. I thought the gun was gonna go, yeah. go flying. Out of your hands, yeah. I don't know if it, like the camera caught it, but I was shaking a little bit. I didn't see, you You seemed in control the whole time. To not, like you, your hands weren't shaking at all to me. I didn't have like slack in my elbows because I was so nervous. Mm. So I was like struggling to hold it, to hold the gun. Yeah, but then if you tighten up your elbows, it kind of makes you recoil. Yeah, so more. You have to I think it took about 20 rounds before I was like, okay, the nerves are gone yeah. and I can shoot. Because he made you like, hey, let's get rid of those nerves by making you shoot a lot. A lot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you want one? I kind of want one. I understand how you need training. I, would, I wouldn't get one unless I was dedicated to that kind of training. <laughs> Yeah, because that's crazy. <laughs>